Alrighty guys, welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to rectify one of the so-called biggest mistakes that I have uh, kind of recognized over the last couple of years. Uh, some of you may recognize this topic because it's something I've talked about a lot back in the days when I was more active before we restarted this channel stronger than ever, and that is the hierarchy of evidence. Now, the mistake that I've seen in this hierarchy and the reason I want to bring it up is because the hierarchy of evidence is probably one of the most important subjects in my opinion, one of the most important concepts to anyone who wants to align with reality and who doesn't want to align with reality? Everybody does. Nobody wants to go around life living in, a, in an illusion, right? Everybody wants to to know what is true and when it comes to the hierarchy of evidence this is one of the things where I think the medical industry got it really right but the mistake actually comes from a little bit I don't know if you want to call it the uh, the drilling of the medical industry into us of the guidelines follow the guidelines follow the recommendations and so um, let's just get straight to it this right here is the hierarchy of evidence that I have presented on my channel before for those of you who haven't seen this diagram before this schematic representation of how to appraise different forms of evidence how much confidence you should accrue to each form of evidence let me just explain the concept basically at the bottom of the hierarchy you have the least trustworthy forms of evidence and as you climb up the pyramid you get to the most trustworthy or the most reliable sources of information that those are the ones where you really want to be confident in your beliefs because they have really high evidence now the part of this hierarchy of evidence and feel free by the way to pause at any time in the video to actually go through the hierarchy but the point in the hierarchy where the mistake has been made is at the very very top ironically and again this is kind of something that's drilled into us in the medical industry uh, but it's not really a form of evidence uh, from a scientist point of view this is completely incorrect and this is why i think it's so important for me to make this video so the mistake is clinical practice guidelines at the very top of the hierarchy what does this mean clinical practice guidelines are basically the recommendations of the biggest organizations right the cdc world health organization uh, you know, up-to-date other organizations that have clinical practice guidelines for doctors and i understand the usefulness and the practicality of this if you are a practicing physician to find out what kind of dosage do i need for what kind of treatment are there any other options what are the side effects blah 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 that is all fine and dandy but what is an organization what are these guidelines well they are recommendations made by people right so organizations are just groups of people and people make mistakes i think the appeal of clinical practice guidelines for a lot of doctors is the protection that it offers a doctor right if you are following the guidelines and something happens some mistake happens something goes wrong it's not really your fault because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing you're following the guidelines right but when it comes to a scientific point of view the truth finding out what is right then expert opinion, whether it's one person or a group of people from an organization, is not the most reliable. And this is why I would place this at the same level as expert opinion, or actually perhaps a little bit higher than one expert's opinion, right? Because it's a group of experts, but that's it. For those of you who want to find the truth and want to be evidence-based, remember, hierarchy of evidence is based on evidence not opinions, not what people say, not what groups of people say, but the actual facts, the evidence. And so I think the best hierarchy of evidence would be one that only includes those. So here's a diagrammatic representation of one example that I found. And here we are removing any expert opinion, whether it be from individuals or groups from the equation, because this is where the real stuff is. The only other caveat I'd like to add to this video before we end it is that industry funded studies are less reliable than independent studies, right? And this is something that has actually been studies. There's been studies of studies and the studies of studies found that studies funded by industry are less reliable. They're more prone to exaggerating benefits. They're more prone to hiding away harms. And so independent studies are far superior to industry funded studies. And this is naturally quite a big issue in the medical industry because a lot of the things that we see are industry studied. The industry is huge and both medical schools, hospitals, etc., need the money from the industry to function. So there's a lot of conflicts of interest as you can imagine, which is why it is totally okay and actually very healthy to be a little bit skeptical. Don't just trust everything you see from the medical industry with a blind eye. Uh, don't just trust in authority. Don't just trust in what an organization or one person is telling you. Do be a little bit skeptical and look at the real facts and hopefully this will equip you this will arm you with the necessary tools 
to be a well-informed and autonomous person with the power and the freedom to actually take your health into your own hands and make decisions based on the best evidence. So that is it for this video. Very important video in my opinion. And uh, if you guys have any thoughts, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What are your opinions? Did this? Did you guys find this useful? Also, there's gonna be another video that you can watch here. If you wanna support my channel or get access to my free ebook where I share all the lifestyle factors that I use when I'm teaching people to be healthier, to lose weight, etc. There's gonna be a link to my Patreon here. Otherwise, I look forward to making more videos very soon and I'll see you then. Take care.